Welcome back. So we are going to make some fish today for our project. We read the book in our last session um, called Only One You and it was a book with painted rocks as fish and I asked you to stop for a minute and take a look at some of those fish and see if you noticed any of the details. So today we are going to make our own version. We're going to draw, color, and cut it out. And then if you want, you can write your name and your teacher's name on the back and we will put it in a drop box at the school and then um, I will hang them around the school so that when we come back, there will be some artwork already hanging in the school. Or if you wanna keep it, you can hang it up at home. Make sure you take a picture of it though and submit it so that I can see your beautiful drawing. And if you want, you can also post it to the Padlet. That link is um, under teacher information when you go to the art um, the art tile on the Schoology. So um, you can post it in two places, but make sure that you turn it in and I will see you on Friday. I'm gonna get to the how-to and show you how it's done. Welcome back. In our last session, we read the book, Only One You, and today we're gonna get started on our project, which is that fish. So you are going to make something that is very special to you. Um, for our project today, you need the following supplies. A big piece of paper, white, that is clean on at least one side. You need a pencil, a Sharpie, or a black marker. Any color marker will work, actually. Um, crayons or colored pencils. We are not going to use markers to color these because when we hang artwork in the window with the, that's done with marker, the marker tends to fade. So we want to make sure that our artwork is going to look good a month from now, two months from now. So we're gonna use either crayons or colored pencils. I'm gonna use crayons today because I like the way they blend. And then you're gonna need a pair of scissors. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on our drawing. You can start with a pencil and trace with Sharpie, or you can just go ahead and draw with Sharpie. It's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm pretty comfortable drawing with a Sharpie, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with almost a teardrop shape here for that head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in that tail fin. And you can make this look any way you want. If you want it to be a more flat, you can do that. You can add an open mouth or a closed mouth. We're gonna cut these out, so it's okay if we see that like this. Add that eyeball. We're gonna leave that white highlight to make our eyeball look glossy. Go right around it. Okay, now if you want, you can add eyelashes or eyelid, whatever you want. We can add a dorsal fin, which is on top if we want. You could add little flippers or gills. And next we're going to go ahead and add our pattern. So. We're going to take a quick look at the elements of art. There are seven. There's line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. So we already know the shape that we're dealing with, and that's that fish shape. And the two things we're going to focus on today are line and color. So there are tons of different kinds of lines, right? We have straight lines, we have thick straight lines, thin straight lines, we have dash lines with a space in between each of the short lines, we have this zigzag line, loop de loos this scallop which is just up and down like M's connected, our castle line or a box line which just goes up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across. We have this varied line which goes dash, dot, dash, dot, we have a giant curve that goes all the way across our paper. We have spiral lines, which are just spirals that are attached together. And we have a wave. I'm sure you can think of more lines when you're working. We're gonna go ahead and get back to our drawing. And then we can think about what kinds of lines we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that big curved line to make a face. I'm gonna add another one. And I might add another something in between here just to give it some more like, excitement to that thick line. Now I could go ahead and do something like those scallops. 
I could do them on both sides if I wanted to. I could also go ahead and do that dashed line and I might just connect my little gills here with these dashed lines. You could do a zigzag. We could do one on the other side too, make it look like it's supposed to be there. Get at this here. We could do another line on top. This is kind of fun because you get to really play around with different lines and what you want your project to look like. Okay, we can also add more details. If I wanted to add dots in here, I could do that. If I wanted to add circles in here, I could do that. If I wanted to put some patterns up here, I could do that. Go ahead and put that spiral line up here. All right, I could add shapes here. You have a lot, a lot of choices. Okay, so once we get our design done, we're gonna go ahead and color it in. Make sure that when you're coloring, again, we're using crayons or colored pencils for this, and we wanna make sure that we're coloring nicely. I shouldn't see scribbles like this where we see the white space coming through. You guys are upper elementary, so you know better and you know how to color neatly. We want to make sure that we are going in one direction, either up and down, diagonally, which means corner to corner, or horizontally, which is side to side, vertical, diagonal, horizontal. And you can pick any color combination that you like. If you want to do a pattern of color every other line, you could do that. If you wanted to add more, you're looking at it and say, gosh, I really want to add more, go right ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and add some color in right now. Don't worry about going outside of the lines because like I said, we're going to cut this fish out. Okay, once we get our whole fish colored, we're going to go ahead and cut it out. Remember to keep those scissors pointed away from your body and your other hand is not in the way of the scissors. Your scissor hand really doesn't move much. Only that paper hand moves. Around and around. starts to get in your way, just cut it off. That's all right. Come back in, cutting. All right, I want to get back in here and get that mouth. All right. Now you're going to take a picture of your final piece and post it into Schoology. If you want, you can also post it on that Padlet. The link for that is in Schoology, except instead of under your assignments and weekly materials, it's under the other folder that says teacher information. If you want to hang these at, have me hang these at school, you are going to flip it over. You are going to find a pencil. Do not use Sharpie on the back. You'll notice that our um, our Sharpie has bled through the paper. So if you write your name on the back with Sharpie, it will bleed through and it will mess up the design on the front. So we're just gonna go ahead and write our name and our teacher on the back, nice and big so I can see it. And then I will put a drop box at, in the office and you can drop these off with your name on them and I will hang them around the school so that when we do finally come back, there will be some art on the walls and you'll be able to see your fish. And um, if you want, you can keep it and you can keep um, hanging on your windows at home. That's fine too, but make sure you get a picture of it and post it onto Schoology so that I can see what you're doing. I will see you on Friday. 
and we will um, have our live session then. So if you have any questions, let me know. I can't wait to see your faces. All right. Bye, guys.